Right, so today we need to make some transfers. It's a transfer special coming up, which is, hang on, phone's ringing. It's the new chairman, Mr. Ralston. Mr. Ralston, hello, good to speak to you. This is the first time speaking to you. Yeah, 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 it was pretty unlucky in that Champions League final. I don't need reminding, if I'm honest with you. Oh, not you as well. Like, I couldn't have gone defensive after we scored that equaliser. One, because there was 30 seconds left in the game. And two, the highlights started straight from kickoff. So even if I wanted to, it wouldn't have changed in time. So there's nothing we could have done to prevent that Mbappe goal. So I'm sorry, but yeah, sorry, I won't talk to you in that tone again. I do apologise. I do want to keep my job. Anyway, I just wanted to ask you, actually, can we have some more transfer budget? Because you've not really, you've not really given us much. No. Well... What about the money from the One Football sponsorship? You, you don't know what One Football is? Well, Mr. Rolston, let me tell you, One Football is the best football app out there to keep up to date with all of the latest footballing news, scores, and updates from around the world. You can follow your favourite team, so make sure you follow Aberdeen on there. Keep up to date with all of their latest live scores with push notifications sent straight through to your phone, giving you updates quicker than any other football app out there. And actually, mate, you can download it from the top line of the description for absolutely free to really help me and the channel out. So can you do that for me? You will, brilliant, thank you very much. And the extra transfer budget, can you do that for me? No, uh, yeah, okay, I won't push my luck anymore. Right, talk to you soon, goodbye. Seems like a nice chap. Hello and welcome back to On The Rocks. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to today's transfer special. Hopefully we're going to sign some decent players even though we've only got £13 million to spend. We'll discuss more of that later on. But first things first, make sure you do drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Last episode was one to forget, but one that I don't think any of us will ever forget given the nature in which we lost that game. I can't believe how that happened. I'm still in shock about it. Either way, we, um, we've we got to try and get back stronger. You know, we rebuild, we go again, and we we try and win a Champions League further down the line. So today, we need to build a team capable of doing that, but with the only £13 million we've got, it might be a little bit difficult. Also, the new chairman is in charge and he's not given us any more transfer budget. I think it could be a bug where when the transfer budget was meant to be updated, we had an embargo going on and so no one's really realised they need to update the transfer budget. Because this is what we had after January, I think. So I'm a little concerned that there's a bit of a bug maybe where that's happened or maybe I, I'm just you know, hoping for too much money. I don't know. But I am very concerned about the new chairman. I think he is embezzling funds because look at this. Training facilities upgraded. They've announced a planned expansion has been completed. It's cost 33 million. How, how and why? Very confused about that because we did this a few episodes ago. We asked for this a few episodes ago and it was only meant to cost 5 million. So where an extra 28 and a half has come from, I do not know. It's not like we've now got state of the art training facilities. Like they've just spent 33 million on a random just general upgrades, which I'm really confused about. So, um, don't really know. I mean, it's only a loan. I say only a loan. It's, it's still a lot of money. If we look at our uh, our debts and loans, there's no nothing there. I'm, I, I don't even quite understand this game sometimes. Maybe I've got to press continue before that becomes an actual thing. I don't know. Nope, still not there. So, confusing. Either way, as you can see, the transfer window has started here in Scotland and uh, well basically the plan was to actually permanently bring in a right back and a right winger because obviously we had them on loan last season. However, given the financial situation and you guys really wanting them back on the grounds that they took us to a Champions League final, I think the first port of call today is to try and get Lassie Alien back on loan, try and get Rodriguez back on loan, and see if Rebull wants to come back on loan as well. So we'll start off with Lassie Alien, a 21-year-old winger who uh, played 29 league games for us last season, eight goals, nine assists. He was absolutely superb in the league and, of course, in the Champions League as well. Make an offer, loan. They're happy to let him come on loan if we pay 62 grand a week for him. It, it, I think given the financial situation, we're not going to be able to bring in someone as good as him. Right, so I think it's probably, just, it's a lot of money per week, but we make the offer. I'm not sure if Reed will, will come back to us this season, given that uh, PSG obviously saw him get to a Champions League final, and they won the Champions League final, and they thought, well, maybe we could do with him next season. I don't know if they're going to let him come back to us, and it does say he has got regular first team commitments, but 
it's okay because we did buy some centre backs last season, so we might be okay at the back, fingers crossed. But Rodriguez, who obviously is still injured for another six weeks, transfer make an offer loan, first team commitments as well. Hmm. And he's got a £100 million release fee clause, so we might not be getting him anytime soon. So fingers crossed, last year alien comes through, but the main priority after that will be right back. I would like to bring in a right winger permanently as well, but the money situation could be a bit of an issue there. We can reduce the wage budget down and get more transfer budget, but it's, it's not going to make a huge difference, really if I'm honest with you. I mean, we'll do it a little bit to get an extra three million, but it's not gonna make a huge difference. So, it might mean selling a couple of players. Hmm, okay. Who's not played much this season at all down near the bottom? Now, obviously some youth players are down there uh, that we wanna keep hold of because they're very, very good, but an Alan Campbell, for example, made five appearances all season in all competitions. He has to go, right? Off at the clubs. We could have got a lot more for him last summer. But if we put him up for five million, offer to clubs, see if someone buys him. The same with Brian Portier. He's made not many appearances last season. Transfer, offer to clubs. Again, we could have got so much more money for him last summer. But one of those things, two and a half million, just see if we can get him gone. Pavlik didn't make many appearances. He's made 15 overall. But I think we keep him for now, given he's the only backup left back we've got. Harry Winks, I think, is a player that needs to maybe move on as well now at 32 years old. Transfer offer to clubs and let's just see what clubs bid for him. Other than that, I don't really feel I need to make any... <sighs> Bazunu is an, an interesting one. He's still very good. Valued at a lot. Oh, there's a bid on the table for him. The bid on the table is for 13. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a good bid as well. He's valued at 12.75. They've put a bid in of 13.25. And then per league appearance, an extra three. So that's an extra 3.2 million. And after 20 games, an extra. Let's round up to a million, right? I think we push this up. We want 15 million now. And after 10. Oh, we can't push it up anymore, apparently. So that's that's the max we can get. So that'll be 18.25, 19.2. We need to push this up a little bit. If we can get 17 and a half, suggest. Oh, they've accepted that straight away. Bazunu might be on his way. Fuentalba is the better keeper now. I prefer Fuentalba, so I'm happy to let Bazunu go. We have to get someone else in, obviously. But that seems like we can't really turn that down. Maybe we should have tried to offer him out for more. He's wanted by a lot of clubs. Uh, transfer offer to clubs. Let's start the bidding at 20 million please Le Havre they want all our players they're putting 7.25 down for Harry Winks 3.6 now and then installments down the line I'd rather not do it in installments um it's a bit annoying isn't it I'm gonna reject it and we're gonna go back onto Harry Winks transfer off of the clubs and just I think we set it at 7.5 and see if clubs bid Bazunu though Shulker straight in 20 mil which makes me think we can get more. So decline that. Bazunu, transfer, offer to clubs, 23. And yeah, Le Havre are still the only club in for Harry Winks, but rather than 3.7 spread over like 12 months or something like that, it's all up front now. So I think we'll accept that. Yeah, they're all happy to do 4.5, so we'll accept that. All these bids for, I, I press continue, not accept bids. There we go, accept. The, I, I've done the same thing again. Don't press space bar, Tom, just press accept. There we go, you love to see it. No one wants Alan Campbell though, so transfer offer to clubs. Let's bring this down to four million. Lots of offers made for Admilson. We're gonna reject all of those because we don't want to sell him. Uh, Burnley offering money for Bazunu. It's not enough money. Uh, I, I don't, th oh, did no one actually put a bid in again for Bazunu? We'll, we'll double check this. We might have to let him go for 20 million. Bids for Thad McRae are going to be rejected. Um, and apparently, who's this Marcus Freeman uh, he wants to go you can't go to Rangers you're our rivals uh, last year in bid has been accepted which is great and Jan Cavalcanti is second in European golden shoe you hate to see it I think 21 million up front is the best we're going to get for Bazunu so I'll accept that what what's that compared to the deal at Le Havre it was uh, oh they're offering technically 22 but it's just less up front so we'll, we'll keep the Le Havre one accepted and uh, hopefully go to Schalker instead because I'd rather have 21 million up front. So 7.5 for Winks uh, plus 4.5 for Brian Portier, that's 12 million. And then hopefully 21 million for Bazunu. 
which comes to, you know my math isn't great, obviously, because I couldn't do my three times tables the other day, but that does equal 33 million. Add that on to the 16 that we now have, that is 49 million. So round it up to 50, round it up to 50 million. That's what we've got to spend, I think, if those players go. So according to our scout reports, uh, these are the players that are interested in joining us at right back, sorted by the scout's current ability presumption of them. Now, there's a player here I can see at Inter Milan, valued at 5 million, good mentals, light-hearted personality, which is not the, the greatest personality, but from what we can tell about him, a complete wing-back, he's got decent crossing and dribbling, uh, he's pretty pacey, good pa he looks like a pretty decent player overall. Transfer. Ask agent about availability, high fee required, 90 grand a week. It's a lot of money. How much would Inter want for him? Suggest terms, 120... <sighs> right, let's let us let us get all this crap out of the way because this is going to be a long episode if they just keep coming back every club wanting £100 million for their players. Okay, so he might not be available. Uh, there is a guy down here at Newcastle that I did notice, Christian uh, Messner, who is quite pacey, decent crossing and dribbling, decent men. He looks like a very decent player, well-rounded, uh, and young enough to still improve. Valued at 22 million, ask agent about availability. Only 26 grand a week, which is nice, but again, high fee is going to be required for him. To suggest 104 million. This is why it gets so difficult now. So, so difficult to sign players. There's a wonder kid here at Fulham who is probably not really up to it yet. And he's more of a left back than a right back, apparently. Well, he's got both feet though, so he can play right back. His crossing and dribbling is not quite so high but is described as a wonder kid, which is good enough for me. So how much do Fulham want for him? 106 million, this is just gonna be stupid. Right, well, I've now filtered it as well for potential ability for right backs. And actually there's a couple of players here with some cheap release fee clauses. The thing is, they're not that great yet. Um, we don't know much about this guy, even though he's got a cheap release fee clause. Uh, there's a guy here who plays for Stad Rene, who, isn't actually that great yet at 18 years old, but does have... We can't just buy players for the sake of buying them because they're cheap. We need someone good. Oh, in, in, in a bit of panic, it might be better to look at the loan market instead, just to start things off. Like, who's interested in coming to us on loan? You know, maybe they, maybe they start there. Uh, There's not a lot of people. Oh, that is scary, but not a lot of people. I thought we had a lot more people than this scouted out, but we don't really seem to have many people scouted. We did loads of scouting last year for right backs. But it's a bit annoying. Now, Max Ahrens wants to maybe join us, but not 58 million. It'd be great to get Max Ahrens in. James Justin's a bit old. Um, and we don't know much about those other players. Oh, it's annoying. Personally, I think the best option right now is to basically just go forward through to the start of July, actually, because that's when the transfer window for everyone else opens up. And that's when we might actually find some better deals. In the meantime, Harry Winks is off for 7.5 million. Thank you for everything, Harry. Good to have you with us for a few seasons, but it's time to say goodbye. In some good news though, Lassie Alien is back once again for another. It's a lot of money per week, but he's worth it. Right, what is going on here? At 10 million pounds now for club tri Why are we spending, all right, I swear the new board guy is literally embezzling funds. Where's all the money going? And how, today's episode so far, we have spent 40 plus million on training facilities. How? But it's not reflected at all in the budget. I'm really confused. There are some dodgy things going on here. Ah, okay, Bazunu set to go to Le Havre instead. So we'll get 17 million and then an extra, well, up to 22 million down the line. So it's good money, slightly more than we get from shulker but not quite as much up front but we'll take it either way accept it gavin thank you for all of your service the past few years but we need the money so clear off and portia also off as well to south america for four and a half million thank you brian for you know promising to be a wonder kid and then just not delivering at all right so i've got all the way through to the first of july now um transfer window should be open why am I not? Right, Rebull is available for loan immediately. Great. You love to see it. Let's get him in. Transfer, make an offer, loan. Get him back in on loan. 64 grand a week is a lot, but he's worth it. He was very good last season. So that's a, another position we can kind of forget about a little bit. 
Also, a right back from Atletico. We had a very good right back from Atletico last season. He's not quite as good though, which is a bit annoying. Actually, there's really not that many people great on loan. If we get rid of the interesting and loan bit, the more come up. No, apparently not. This though should mean any uh, transfer listed. We should see quite a few players transfer listed now, including the PSG keeper who defeated us in the Champions League final. I don't want to sign him though because we've got Fuentalba who's better. Hopefully, maybe we'll see. But again, we're still not seeing like a great amount of players, really. Oh my... <sighs> you hate to see it. Any right backs? Any right backs, please? That's the position we're still pretty desperate. Only two, two that we've got scouted out. Sort it by value, Tom. And then there's a few more, but again, like they're all old. No, no one news come on here. Well, my plan to wait until the first of July as. Uh not gone well and maybe maybe it will come out on the 2nd of July maybe that's when it will happen okay well it's now the 2nd of July which is which is good so surely more players should be there now it it has updated and there's not um how about listed for loan surely a few more players listed for loan should mm, hmm well this guy Dan Howarth from United. He's actually not too bad. You know, I think the priority is getting someone in on loan to start off with. You know, build from that to start off with. Let's try and get him in before you do anything permanent. He does actually look pretty decent, to be fair. He does look pretty decent. Um, nothing special, but he's not bad. But no other new players. We are, we are in a place. And this place is known as The Mud, I think, right now. It is actually, as well, quite annoying that the best players available for transfer on, our, on the transfer list are centre-backs and strikers. Like the only two positions we don't really need. And despite all the scouting, there's, there's just no one good coming at right back. All the scouting that we're doing, there's just no one that good. Inter have got two full-backs who I wouldn't mind getting in. Either one of these two might be quite good. Emmanuel Pizzo. He's not a world-beater, but... He, he might be okay. He's wanted by Leeds and Napoli, who actually are pretty decent teams. So maybe he would be quite good to get. The thing is, though, if we suggest terms, ooh, 31. Right, we can do something here. I'm going to cancel that because that's locked in. We'll, we'll do something there. What about this Palacios guy? I'd rather have Palacios because he's a bit younger uh, and looks a little better as well. They still want 100 plus million. 18 right we're gonna try and work on these two there's also a brian rodriguez at arsenal who i do quite like the look of as well i mean we're getting lucky how much do they want not okay 92 maybe a little i think we can work something out for those two so palacios was like uh quite a lot wasn't he he was like towards the 80 million sort of range so if we put in the percentage of profit from next sale remove and exclude if we say 30 and how about 30? 30 and 30 suggest... Oh, they've accepted that straight away. Oh, bloody hell, Tom, you idiots. But they did want like 90 million. So I, I thought that was quite reasonable to start off with. Okay, right. Well, let's see if he wants to join us. What about the other guy? Unless he was the cheap one. No, Pizzo was the, Pizzo was the cheap one. Or the cheaper one. They wanted like 30 million for him, didn't they? Um, so how about 10? And... 15 and 10 15 and 10 let's try that 15 no that's too much let's try 10 and 10 10 and 10 let's try that see what they say and they want 10 10 and 4 after 50 league games bring that down to like two and a half how about 10 8 2 10 8 2 which are the same as we did a second ago and yeah they oh no pearl oh no that's quite bad that's now quite a lot of money hang on Cancel. That's 29 million. Oh, and the, the 60 million Palacios guy is happy to talk to us. I'd, I'd quite like to sign him on the grounds that he's not a wonder kid, actually, is he? Has got five-star potential, though. He wants a lot of money per week. I Look, we offer him a contract, but we see what the other guy wants as well. And if the guy's low is cheap, we get the other guy, I think. Um, we have to, like, remove a few things here. Bring his wage down to, like, 75 grand a week. Suggest he's not going to like this at all. 80 suggest he wants 115 or like nothing pretty much oh we can do a deal on 90 95 
That's far too much. I, I don't want to sign him. I don't really want to sign him, if I'm honest with you, for that sort of money. I think we, God, we, we withdraw. We withdraw on that. We focus back on the other geezer, who uh, he does look pretty good. Like, he looks pretty well-rounded for the position. Off the ball, maybe a little bit low, but does look pretty well-rounded. Transfer, make an offer. So we said 10, uh, remove and exclude installments of, uh, three installments of 10, or, or 3.3 .3 essentially, suggest. And then on that 4 million again, we drop this down to 993 and they accept that that's 21 million that seems like a good deal that seems much more reasonable than 60 million and if we compare the two of them um pizzo's the blue one he, they're, they're kind of similar palacios maybe is slightly better but there's not much in it there's not 40 million pounds in it that's what i'll say and he wants so much less per money as well per, per week i should say uh he wants loads of stuff here so let's get rid of the big wage rise let's get rid of the suitable player to help him set so we can play the right back as wing back that's fine get rid of the midfielder one suggest he's happy with all of that he wants 25 grand a week get rid of the wage rise and a new substitute fee you know wants, I, we can get him on 30 30 is a good deal. Okay, well, this is good. This is good. I feel, I feel like we're now making some progress. We've got Lassie Alien back. Rebel should be coming back. I might cancel the, no, I won't cancel the loan for the other right back because we sold, we sold basically our backup right back in Portier. So actually we could do with two right backs this season. Although now Napoli are in for Pizzo. Oh, you hate to see it. Who is, he, who is he more interested in signing for? Oh, please don't ruin this for us. Otherwise, we have to spend loads of money on the other guy instead, probably. Surely he'd join us rather than Napoli. Like, surely he would join us instead of Napoli. Last season, Napoli, they've only got Europa League football. We got, we, we're in the Champions League. And we're in the Champions League. Surely he'd join us. Oh, please join us. We could also do with some improvement in the middle of the midfield as well, if I'm honest with you. And uh, there are a couple of players who look quite decent here, actually. Lucas Stan's been on my watch for a long time. We tried to sign this guy last season, but then he never wanted to sign for it. He signed a new contract at Slavia Prague. And actually, doesn't he does look good. Is his release fee clause still ridiculous? 11 million. 11 million. I think he could be a very good player to have around. He's unambitious, right? Which isn't great. And his potential is not brilliant. But as like a squad player for 11 million to just sort of have around, he might be okay, you know. He Because he, obviously Rodriguez isn't here anymore. And Admilson is a centre-back. He'd be the third best centre we've got. How much do they want? They're just gonna, uh, it's going to have to be 11, isn't it? I think maybe we try again on this guy. Because while the star ratings don't really do him justice, I look at this guy and I look at, if I can find him again, I look at where it matters... 16 first touch, 17 passing, 17 technique, teamwork 16, vision 15. He's got really good determination. Well, relatively good determination. It's just the personality is not very... I think he's a very good player. I don't think these star ratings do him justice. I would also love to bring in Lucas Stan. I think he's a great young player as well. And again, like, I, I don't think the stars quite do him justice. I think he looks really, really solid across the board. Maybe not quite so much in the mentals, but definitely technicals. Thing is, I imagine Porto will want a lot for him, won't they? Uh, ask agent about availability. 33 to 50. I, mm, we can't quite afford that right now. Apparently, though, there is a guy available on a free transfer with... Mm, well, it says five-star potential. It's, it's a very iffy five-star potential. Uh, there's a... Oh, you love to see... Right, a wonder kid here from Brazil. Three-star, four-star perfectionist transfer status uh hang on contract info uh foreign club 17.5 okay maybe we go for this guy instead transfer make an offer just pump this up they're not going to accept anything less are they they normally don't 17.5 mil we'll then see if he's interested but that might then end our interest in this guy if we compare the two of them compare with him we are looking at actually two. I want them both. I want them both. They're very different players. 
and they'd both be really good. I want them both. Can we afford it? I don't think we can. We're looking at 38 million. Oh, no, can we afford that? Wait, wait, where's, well, oh, Pizzo's there. Oh it's, only nine, oh, it's only 9 million up front, isn't it? Okay, we're not spending 20, 9, yeah, we can afford it. Oh, let's try and get them all in. So that 11 million pound bid has been accepted. He wants a pretty, well, in the grand scheme of things for us, a cheap contract, very cheap contract. Can you go down to 15 grand a week, lad? He does, oh, go on, 16. You love to see it, very cheap contract. And then the other guy, even cheaper contract. Oh, amazing, he wants to be a squad player. That's fine, you can do that. And then nine grand, get rid of the release fee clause. Get rid of future wage right. I mean, you might say no to all of this. Let's put his contract up to like 13K. He wants 15. You can have it, 15. Okay, we could be on to a winner here, you know. Oh, but now Man City wants him. No, 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 right, okay. Uh, transfer, the contract, change, cut. right, let's just, We'll give you an extra five grand a week. Please come to us, don't go to Man City. So, is that all the players that we've bid on now? Or maybe not the Czech guy, I can't remember now. Definitely the Brazilian midfielder and the right back. They've all got all got bids from other clubs, which is frustrating as Fulham bid 30 million for Admilson. No, you can't have him. Werder Bremen, nine million for Pablo, you can't have him. Espanyol wants to have McCray on loan, you can't have him. But Rebel is back at the club again, so that's a good thing. Okay, well, we definitely have a right back this season because Dan Howarth is coming in on loan from Man United. So all the loan players, uh, Lassie Alien, Howarth and Rebuel, they're all here. It's now the three permanents that we need to get in. And actually, now that I think about it, we, we, we could do with a keeper as well. A keeper would be quite good. Okay, this is good. The guy from Slavia Prague has got a work permit waiting. Fingers crossed. And given we've heard nothing yet about the right back, oh, I feel like he's gone elsewhere, which really is quite upsetting. As, what's going on here then? Bids for Cavalcanti, uh, around the 30 sort of million mark, rejects all of those, he's staying with us. And then Werder Bremen want Pavlik again, reject that. And La Cruz now wants an improved contract. Do you want to give him an improved contract? Yeah, why not? You can have a new contract, lad. You, you've probably deserved it. Uh, we do like you. We could probably do with a little better, maybe. But he, he's not let us down. I say that. His average rating hasn't been brilliant. But he's not let us down. He scored some big goals. Off a new contract. Regular starter. Remove that. Suggest he wants important player. Okay, you can have important player. Only 18 grand a week, which is not a lot of money at all. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give it. We'll give it to you. There you go. Yep. Knew it'd happen. Knew it'd happen. Pizzo has gone to Napoli. Oh, you hate. So annoying. Ah, oh, right back search. At least we've got a right back. That's the. Who's this guy? Wonder kid. Left back. It's a bit annoying. We've already got one. Hold the front door though. What's going on here? Fad McRae is in the European Championships dream team. What's going on here? Can we see his form? Reports form. We can't. Right, what have Scotland done? Schedule. Scotland got to the semi-finals of the European Championships with Thad McRae scoring four goals. Thad, you are an absolute legend, apparently, according to the European Championships. Um, what's going on here, then? Second top scorer behind the PSG guy. You love to see it. Well done, Thad. Mexico, though, have uh, just won the Copper America, which suggests to me, schedule, that Jan uh, Cavalcanti has not done it. They came, they came fourth. Jan Cavalcanti having a poor tournament there. I think he's probably still getting over the missed penalty in the Champions League final, I'd imagine. That's what he's still doing. But don't worry, he can uh, he can do better in the Olympics because that's coming up next, apparently, which he's now playing in as well. Olympic gold medals. That's what that's what you need, Olympic gold medals. And yet, oh, the other guy's gone to Man City. We were in the Champions League final. Why do they not want to join us? At least the guy from Prague is here. <laughs> Who actually was probably the worst out of all of them. But it's another wonder kid. Welcome in, lad. So, a bit annoying some of those transfers fell through. How are we looking then? Let's have a quick look at the... Uh, what am I even looking for? Uh, squad depth. That's the one we're looking for. So in up front, 
We've got Shaban and Thad McRae who can play up front. We have got Jan Cavalcanti who can play in the attacking midfield along with a couple of other players. Le Cruz out wide, Jez Finley out wide. We've got Lassielian and Thad McRae out wide and Shaban. So we've got some sort of rotation around with those players. But we could do with maybe one more. Uh, through the centre of the park, we have got uh, Tamat Lumper, Ad Milson's centre back, but Sissoko and that new chap, and Ferguson. But could always do with another centre mid. And then right backs, Sandro and Howarth, Ad Milson and uh, Rebuel at centre back. Oh, we need a goalkeeper as well. We could do with players all over, actually. Annoyingly, we just don't have many great players coming through right now who could be a first team player right now which is a bit frustrating I mean maybe Tyson and Joe call to us maybe we move these guys into the first team so they can just start to get a bit more development but they're not the, they're not quite the players we need so we are now back to 30 million to spend do we go back into this guy obviously we had that bit of 60 million on the table last time can we bring it down like to I know, 15 and 15? I don't think they're going to say yes to this at all, given that... I think we may have ruined it with this guy. Let's just say no to that completely. I think even 20 and 20, like I think that's going to be... I think anything less than 30, 30 is going to be rejected. So I just don't think this guy is the one for us. There is the chance to sign the guy from Arsenal, Brian Rodriguez. They wanted, like, 90. Can we try a... Uh, I don't want to pay 30 up front. How about a 20 and a 30? Do they want to do that? No, it's, it's far too expensive. We do need to think about a backup keeper and we don't really have a huge amount of scout reports available. There's a guy here at Brazil, 17, five-star potential. It's not quite, if we had to use him now though, it'd be very good. In fact, most of these keepers, I don't think are brilliant. There's a guy at Santos here who, who could do a job, you know, actually. He might be a bit pricey, but he'd be cheaper than what we sold Bazunu for. And if we compare him with Fuentalba, like, if anything, he, he gives Fuentalba a run for his money, maybe. That's interesting. Well, he has got a release fee clause of 13 million, so we will be making profit still. I'd rather not pay that 13 million, but I don't think we're going to let him go for anything less than that, right? Let's try nine, but another Brazilian keeper, another Brazilian player, I should say, you'd love to see it. What about this keeper at Italy, though? It's only a backup that we need, so I wouldn't mind just getting someone in who's a bit rubbish like this guy is actually pretty similar to Fuentalba how much do we think we can get him in for I've made an inquiry by accident let me to do that we'll have to wait for the inquiry to come back now the nine million pound bid for the Brazilian keeper has been rejected so it would be 13.25 if we want him I'll put it on the table but we've not heard anything back yet from the other team. So we know we can get this guy in, Marcelo Gill. Uh, we'll just negotiate a quick contract with him, just in case. I don't mind bringing him in. I think he'll be a good player to bring in. Let's get rid of that future ways to make money, because we don't like that at all. Um, is he happy with the 18.5k with that? Let's get him out to 20. There we go, it's a bit better, but I'd, I'd rather not, I mean, oh, well, I say that. Cagliari don't want to sell this guy. Transfer maker, not if we just I wanted to go and suggest eight and a half to them, but they are they want 74, so no, not the best option for us. So maybe in the grand scheme of things, actually, it is a pretty good deal for him. I mean, it's, it's not what we want to be spending money on, I know that, but we have if we if we sold Bazunu, this guy's coming in who is. Maybe as good as Fuentalba, which means he's as good as Bazunu as well, and it means we have made money. So it's not it's not the worst case scenario. Like I think that's pretty decent still, but it's a bit annoying because it's it's money we could be spending elsewhere, right? Also, the Dutch want me to be their manager. Very kind of the Dutch national team, but I, I'm not going to do anything. I want Scotland. Scotland have never offered me the job, which I'm quite upset about. I'd take the Scotland job. That'd be quite good fun. Be more fun than oh, trying to do a transfer window when you've got no money. 
And despite being in the Champions League, players just don't want to join you. Like, we had some great players ready to join us. It's just they preferred other clubs. Like this guy, who's gone to Man City instead of us. Who got to a Champions League final? Not them. Us. But now I'm just kind of in like a... This, oh, who's, who's this guy? I'm not... Come across, he's not He's not good enough yet. He's got a five-star potential. 18-year-old centre mid from Red Star. Right. Bring you in. How much How much Red Star? They're not going to sell him, are they? That's going to be frustrating. He's got a release fee clause of 9.7 million. Is he worth it? Actually, he does look really solid. Really solid from what I can see. Obviously, personality has to change a little bit. But everything that matters is actually really solid there. Trained to be more of a centre mid as well. I wouldn't mind spending that on him, to be fair. I wouldn't mind spending 9 million on him. Uh, if I can take up to 10, right, 10 million. Was it 9.75? 9, 9 Let's make a bid for him. That's not too bad, actually. I mean, that was quite lucky. Sort of came out of nowhere. That's pretty decent. Low release fee clause. There's a guy here at Getafe. The thing is, though, do I want to start... Sp it's a bit... We need players who are good now. Not players who are going to be good. Also, I think these two chaps here who are just like free agents Let, let's offer them both trials let's see if they just want to come on trial for a bit and you know hopefully that'll work out nicely i've also spotted here a brazilian right winger marcial maximo wonder kid description <laughs> looks solid actually uh is a winger as opposed to an inside forwards but you know we can always train him a little bit He's got a bid in from Tottenham for 22 million. He'll go to Tottenham, won't he? Not us. Because his release fee clause is 22 million. Because we do need to bring in a permanent right winger. So I wouldn't mind putting a bid in. So let's see if these two players, the winger and the centre mid, want to join us. Let's have a look. Offer accepted. A very cheap contract. Wants to be a star player. I'm not sure I'm feeling about a star player, lad. Uh, I'm happy to... Put you down as a regular starter. He wants star. Important. He's going to cancel it, isn't it? He's going to cancel it. Yeah, he's cancelled that. We'll come back in for him in a couple of weeks' time or something like that. In the meantime, the guy from Brazil, the Wonder Kid winger, he wants a lot. He's locked in a release fee clause of 26 million, so we can't get rid of that. But that's that's okay for now. We can get it out down the line. Get rid of the sell-on percentage fee, though. After reaching five international appearances, no, you can't have 72 grand after that. Yearly wage rise out the window. Wage has got... It's going to go to Tottenham. I can really tell by these contract negotiations. He's going to Tottenham. Um, we, I'll give you 55, then. I'll give you 55 grand a week. I'll take it. Just got to remind myself how good he is. He's fast. He's good at cross. He's very. He's actually really, really good. There's nothing hugely stand out, but he's very good across the board. And only 20 years old. And a wonder. Okay, remember that, Tom. He's a wonder kid. All right, just remember that. These two young right backs who are also on free transfers are coming to us on trial. I mean, hopefully they are really good, and we can sign them for free. Oh, actually, I mean, this first one looks like it could be okay. Second one's dropping down, but they could be all right. You know, these two. They might be worth a punt. We'll see how they get on in their trials, and hopefully, you know, we can sign them. Oh, oh, I forgot about this guy. Uh, I did forget about the Brazilian goalkeeper joining us. Uh, that's, take, that's taken out quite a bit of our transfer budget, hasn't it? Uh, well, it's good. It's good that he's here, because we do need him. We do need a backup keeper, and he will be quite good for us. I mean, very good for us, I reckon, as we give him number 21. There we go. Yep, as expected. We've offered him the same amount of money. They're literally the same amount of money as Tottenham. Well, two grand more for Tottenham, right? But same amount of money, basically. So annoying. I've had enough. I've decided I've had enough. <laughs> oh, this is not much fun today. So what have we done then? We have Bazunu gone, Winks gone, Portier gone. £30 million made, which is decent. Um, and no, no, yeah, that's all that's gone, basically. Obviously, Lassielian came back on loan again, which is great. And then we've also got Rebel back on loan, a new guy from United, and then two decent players in Dominic and Gil. So we've sold Bazunu, 
and I think we've made profit and improved on a newer keeper. So that's good. We, we, we've, we've done well there. I'm happy with that. We sold Harry Winks and we've improved him with this guy, which is great. Happy with that. Obviously, Rebull and, and Lassielin are here from last season, so they are the same. Dan Howarth comes in as a replacement for Brian Portier. Kind of. Although, for, for Portier, is the backup right back, essentially. Dan Howarth comes in as the backup right back because what it's going to have to end up being this season, if I can find him, is I think Alexandro will end up being our starting right back. We still could do with a better right back. But even but we have improved. Oh, the sad thing is, right, we have actually improved the team somehow. That's not sad at all, is it? But it feels sad because, oh, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel like we've done a great job. But it's not our fault, actually, because we've had three or four players due to join us and they've gone to other clubs instead. Like we have had really good players ready to join. It's just they prefer to go to other clubs and there's not much we can really do about that right now, which is very frustrating. But this now is, is, is it's driving me up the wall. It's driving me up the wall. So I think we are going to finish things up here for today's episode. So thank you ever so much for watching today. Fingers crossed, you know, in between episodes, we will come back and hopefully have a signing or two, but don't hold your breath because the mar you've, you've seen the market. It's not great right now. Hopefully though, we're gonna, hopefully though, we can try and, hopefully we can try and emulate what we did last season. I mean, technically, we do have a better team. Technically, albeit only slightly, we do have a better team. Hopefully we can build on it and just do what we did last season again and try and get to another Champions League final or something. So thank you for watching. Make sure you do drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.